Well, the investigation began when a postal inspector became suspicious of overseas packages bound for three residences in Santa Cruz. Their investigation connected it to the six UCSC students. Santa Cruz police raided those locations on Friday just as the mail ordered ecstasy was being delivered. It turns out they were mailing uh, uh this ecstasy pills to three different residents in the city of Santa Cruz. The students, who are members of the Asian fraternity and sorority Lambda Phi Epsilon and Alpha Kappa Delta Phi, were caught receiving 5,000 tablets of the illegal drug MDMA in the mail from overseas, worth about $100,000 on the street. This is a significant drug bust. I mean, um, at minimum, there were 5,000 pills. Can you imagine that if it was distributed over the campus or um, to our younger high school population? We visited all three locations along Locust Street, Peach Terrace, and Castilian Terrace, but either no one was home or they weren't answering. Lambda Phi Epsilon posted a statement on its website saying in part, the fraternity will be cooperating with the local authorities to understand what happened. I can't comment specifically on the student situations, but I can say we hold our students to a high standard when it comes to their conduct. The local fraternity has placed the Santa Cruz chapter on a cease and desist, and all chapter activity and functions are suspended. The UC campus has also suspended both organizations. Word of the arrest has been the talk on the UC Santa Cruz campus. Just the fact that like that was going on around in an environment that I'm like going here to get an education and students are doing that, I was like very shocked. People involved in like fraternities and stories at school selling a bunch of drugs, um, $100,000 worth, pretty crazy. MDMA, known on the street as Molly, is a psychoactive drug that causes users to experience increased euphoria and is often used at nightclubs and raves. What's most dangerous about it is it lowers um, a person's inhibitions and oftentimes put them in very dangerous situations where they either cause harm to themselves or they make themselves vulnerable. Now, this was a multi-agency investigation. In addition to Santa Cruz Police, the Drug Enforcement Agency, the U.S. Postal Service, and Homeland Security were all involved. Involved. Law enforcement says the investigation is far from over. They are looking into how organized and far-reaching the ring was operating. Erin. All right, Phil, thank you. The university also announced late this afternoon that all six students are on interim suspension pending the outcome of an on-campus judicial proceeding. They all could face expulsion as well.